Hey guys, Jess here, and welcome to Mod Mod World. The mod for today that's going to be taking the spotlight is... Are you serious? Really? I just got started. Why is it every time... Oh, Mayor Villager. This must be very important. What's going on, Mayor Villager? It's terrible. It's horrible. What happened? The crop burglar has stolen all of our crops to make awesome stuff with Pam's Harvest Crest bod. What are we going to do? Who is going to save us? <laughs> well, I'll tell you who, Mayor Villager. It's going to be Sailor Macaroon. Sailor Macaroon? Yes, the pretty guardian soldier of food everywhere. I have no time for your nonsense. Look, the crop burglar is in the field headed for the village. He's going to finish the job and steal the crops from the new grocery store. No! I was just voted as mayor too! My reputation! Oh, Mayor Villager, where's the- Oh, where he is? Oh, there he is! Alright, let's go get him. Let's go get him. I know exactly who's going to save him. That's Sailor Macaroon. And if you don't believe me, just watch. Crop burglar, stop your bad ways. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm giving him this voice. <laughs> no one can stop me. Now I'll use these crops to take over the world. Stop right there, you fiend. Eh? Who are you? I'll tell you who I am. I am the champion of food everywhere. And on behalf of the macaroons, I shall right wrongs and triumph over evil. And that means you. Did I seriously just let him walk away right in front of me? That's it. Let's go get him. All right, I got my cookies, and I got my frost sword of justice. There's no way that he's going to be able to stand up against me. And as you can see, I'm actually a pretty soldier, so I, I actually feel very, very powerful right now, especially in the skirt. Anyway, where'd he go? Let's see if we can find him. There's the villagers. Yeah, exactly, where did he go? I just saw him run toward the village. He should be around here. Where is he at? I'll find him. I'm gonna f- wh wh where'd he go? Come on, villagers, where did, you, where did you see a crop burglar around here? Come on, he stole all of your crops! How can you just be, like, ignoring it and shrugging it off at the hurt? Oh, there he is! I just love food so much! Come over here, you crop burglar! Where- I, Okay, I get it, you love food so much, but still, I gotta teach you a lesson. You can't just steal crops from people! That's a terrible thing to do! Alright, you'll never- I will defeat you, actually. Come over- oh, I can't attack the villagers or else those golems are gonna attack me. Oops, oops, okay, sorry about that. I didn't mean- the villagers are just getting in the way of justice here! They're, inter they're inter interfering with the justice I must deliver. He's just getting away. Where Where is he going? Come on. Come here, crop burglar. You're not getting too far from me. There we go. There we go, crop burglar. I'm gonna get you. I will defeat you. Aha! And there's the package right there. I got it. All right. Good. Let's get going. Oh, the squids and everything right in here. Oh, gosh. All right. We're gonna get up, and we're gonna go return these crops to the village. Fear not, villagers, for your field no longer be cropless. I have brought back the green backpack, which is full of crops. Quite literally, look at all these crazy crops now they have. Yes, yes, now you, you will be fed, don't worry. Look at all, all, oh, this was all pillaged. Everything was pillaged. Everything is gone and, oh, this is terrible. This is just absolutely the worst. But I saved it, single-handedly. And now the mayor doesn't have to worry a tad bit about his reputation. Sailor Macaroon has saved the day using macaroons. Even though the Pam's Harvest Craft mod doesn't have macaroons in it, I have a cream cookie. And a cream cookie is pretty much kind of close to a macaroon. Let's just, let's just pretend it is. Anyway, so let's go to the grocery store, which it looks like it's right there. And let's go return all of these crops so that way the village can start to be a little bit more prosperous. There is nothing in here. There, there is no prosper, prosperity inside of this. It looks like he already came here. Oh, thank you for stopping the crop burglar. But, uh, do you think you can help out the store by stocking it with stuff from Pam's Harvest Craft? From Pam's Harvest Craft? Craft? Harvest Craft? The crop burglar kind of stole everything. Yes, I see that he stole everything. He absolutely just destroyed this grocery store. Now, Pam's Harvest Craft is such a big mod, and it has such variety in it that it's hard to fit everything inside this little green backpack. As you can see, not even the crop burglar was able to do that. But, I'm going to show you guys exactly what it is. Now, I love using the Pam's Mo Harvest Craft mod because it just has such a big variety of items to use. And, like, if you enjoy, like, cooking, if you enjoy just, like, seeing different kinds of things and making different kinds of things, you can do that in the Pam's Harvest Craft mod and take a look 
look. Like literally it's got like tabs and tabs full of everything. And there are so many recipes, it's hard to showcase them all. But you know what? That's the fun of mods, just going in and having it added at yourself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just stock up this grocery store to make sure that it's got like a nice little selection for the villagers. And we're gonna go plant some crops down. And of course we're going to be using a lot of these items. And let's see, what do we what do we have in the backpack that we currently have? We're not gonna take anything from um, the menu here, but we will take stuff from the crop burglar because he stole it from these innocent, innocent villagers. So if we put this sweet potato seed down, it's now going to be able to grow. There's one potato seed, and of course, things take a while to grow in Pam's Harvest Craft. However, what you can do, what you can do is you can get some bone meal, and of course you can speed up the process. As usual, you just right click like this. You can then click over here, so let's say that you right click with the bone meal. I didn't explain that very well, but let's say you right click with the bone meal and the crops grow to full capacity instead of having to like use the crops. So instead of having to just like, you know, right click it and destroy it, you can just right click it again and all the crops will fall off leaving your seeds there. So you don't have to worry about like going out to find more. But let's say you want, uh, if we go to this cucumber and I'm gonna pull out a crafting bench very quickly. Let's pull this out right here. Let's say you want cucumber seeds. Now all you have to do is just place the item down and pull out cucumber seeds and it'll just make more seeds and you can take from there, as you will, and plant everything back down. And this is such a nice mod. I love this mod because again, I love cooking. I don't know who doesn't love cooking. I do. Who doesn't love food, first off? Um, so yeah, that is, that is how the seeds work and they're pretty versatile to use. So. Let's go on to some other fun parts of Pam's Harvest Craft. And again, you can experiment with all these recipes. There's a huge wiki dedicated to all these recipes. There's sushi in here. You can have your own little grocery store, especially if you like to role play like I do. There's a ton of crazy stuff that you can use. Um, now let's get into like bees and stuff like that. Now you can use bees to make candles and candles are such a nice, let me show you exactly what candles look like. I'm, do you mind? Do you mind if I just like take off this torch? Because this torch doesn't look anything compared to this candle, as you can see. And there's a bunch of different colors. And in order to get in order to get um the candles, of course, you have to use bees. And bees come. You can find them spawning all over the world. There's like little bee hives everywhere, which look like this. And if we put that down, you can then break it. So let's go into game mode. There we go. And all you gotta do is just break it and you'll get a bee. There's a bee. Isn't that easy? Yes, that was pretty easy. Um, or should I say, <laughs> that was pretty beezy. You you can stop watching now. It's okay. No, no, stop watching. Just 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 don't worry. We'll 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 get into more amazing jokes just like that one. Um, so of course you're going to need like a little bee farm, which is an apiary. And do do you mind? Actually, you know what? I don't want you to get stung by anything. So we're gonna put your bee farm grocer. We're gonna put your bee farm out here, and we're gonna pull in our queen bee. There we go. So there's the queen bee, and of course she's gonna need some workers because she can't do. Oh look, there's more queen. She's already she already made. She, she already made a queen bee. Look at that. She, she's already working and making them them queen bees. She's already working. Jeez. All right, so she's working to make more uh, little honeycombs and stuff like that. Let's see. Oh, crafting grid. Oh, royal jelly at zero durability. I'm gonna be experimenting with this more. Look at that. Let's, let's, let's change out this queen bee with this queen bee. There's so many queen bees in here now. Look at all this. Anyway. So yeah, she's gonna be making some honey and some more bees in there. So we're gonna have a lot of busy bees. And let's see what else do we have. There's a bunch of crazy stuff in here. There's a bunch of crazy stuff. I think these villagers are really gonna appreciate this. Let's go and check out. Let's see, what else do we have? We have bananas, banana trees. Now I had a hard time. I think the hard time um, that you have with figuring out certain things is like you want to figure out how to make certain trees and stuff like that. And I remember I had a hard time trying to figure out how to make olive trees. So let's see. Um, olive. Let's go with the olive trees. Olive sapling. Now in order to make like olives and olive saplings, you're gonna need to find either olives out in the wild or you can make certain saplings using olives that you find out in the wild. And that takes a little while to do. So if we get like olive and let's put all this stuff away so I can show you exactly how to make certain kinds of saplings. Um, let's see, saplings. And I think it, it is a jungle sapling. I believe it is. So if we go back to the crafting bench, which I so conveniently destroyed, Let's see, alright, crafting, 
Let's bring that out. We just go to a crafting, or you can use your menu. I'm not gonna go into my menu, I'm just gonna use it right here. But in order to get like certain kinds of tree fruits, all you have to do is just go find um, the kind of tree that it grows on, take a sapling from that tree, and put it in with the um, the little fruit or olive that you're looking for. So whatever is grows on the trees, I'm sorry if I'm explaining that a little funky, but there you go. You basically just put the sapling with the item, and you get the sapling, the olive sapling. So now we can just put this down and he can have an olive tree over here in the grocery store. Now I'm gonna be working on filling this guy's grocery store up with a bunch of other things, but I think for now we're going to go ahead and just go plant a few more crops. So the crop burglar made, made do literally with everything and I feel so bad for these villagers. They really don't know what's, what's, what is this? What's this? Oh, this building is very much under construction. Do not enter this building no matter how much your curiosity begs of you, or you will disturb the very forces of nature that I am controlling at this very moment. However, if you are the pizza guy, leave the pizza at the door, and you can find your payment in the back of this place. What? Okay. Well, there- I can't see- oh yeah, there's nothing inside of here. There's nothing at all inside. So let's go take a look and see what's over here in the back. Ooh! Oh! Iron ingots and gold ingots! I'm gonna take that. I mean, I'm not the pizza guy, but I'm still gonna take that stuff because I kind of do need it. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the, enjoyed this episode of Mod Mod World. Of course, these villagers will be making sure to be fed. I think they're already well fed enough. They're, they're, they're putting on a few little pounds. And look, this guy even has like a little bib on. That's adorable. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mod Mod World. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. And hopefully we'll find out what's going on with that little building over there. Because I'm kind of interested to see what that is. Anyway guys, until next time, take care. Sailor Macaroon, out. Bye-bye.